welcome back to the UCAT tip series. Today I'm going to be doing a video on quantitative reasoning and five top tips on how to absolutely smash it. First tip is remember to practice with a full size keyboard because on a full size keyboard on the far right you have a um, little keypad which has numbers on and that's super easy to type in with your calculator and it actually feels a lot quicker. Um, so this might not sound like a very big change to the way that you practice but when you do it in real life you'll find it so much easier. Tip number two, remember to use Alt N um, to press next question and really flick through all the questions as soon as you can to see how much large information questions you have and how many short questions you have and attempt the short ones first if that's what you prefer because remember it's vital to do as many as you can because each question is worth the same number of marks. Tip number three, when you're revising for the quantitative reasoning section, make sure that you really drill into your head the multiplication, the division, short methods that are going to be really useful like fractions, percentages, converting from unit to unit, knowing the unit conversions, especially for time. Time is a really big one in the QR that they always bring up, so remember how to convert between units, between minutes, seconds, hours, days years and always remember to check the units that they're asking the answer in sometimes if they're asking it in meters per second then they probably gave it in kilometers per hour in the question so remember to check for that as well tip number four remember to read the question first especially if they're giving you a question with loads of information and data in it if you read the question first and then you refer to the data you know which part of the data you're looking for and you're not spending time reading the entire thing because most of it is actually just in there to waste your time again so if you look if you know that you're looking for a specific thing you're going to really speed up the way that you work and it's going to give you more time to do the working out as well Tip number five is remember to read the subheadings and the headings of any charts and diagrams that they give you because although you don't need to interpret the information as soon as you enter the question, as long as you know what each one stands for then you know what you're referring to and that you're referring to the correct piece of information. A side mini tip from this is going to be whenever you do your calculations in QR, make sure you write down significant numbers because remember if you make a small mistake on the online calculator you've got to do the entire calculation again and that can be really time consuming. So if you've, if you've done a calculation, write down the answer so then you can use it should you need to again later on in the next subset questions or if you just have made a mistake and you can go back to it straight off from where you were. Um, I know this will take a few extra seconds but it can actually save up to 10-20 seconds which you can use later on. So guys that's the end of my QR tip series, I hope you found it really useful. Don't forget to check the description for more videos in this series and we'll be back soon.